The auto theory process bridges the gap between the professional keyboard player and the producer with no formal training. Easily play any type of chord or chord progression while improvising matching melodies. With auto theory in your arsenal, you will be able to unlock your true creative potential without limitations. It is important to understand that the split knob divides the signal from your MIDI keyboard into two different functions. The chord generator is controlled by all octaves left of the split. The melody lock is controlled by all octaves right of the split. A typical auto theory routing setup consists of multiple CV outputs from both the chord generator and melody lock functions routing to and controlling multiple instruments. When you select a key to play from, all chord generator data will be transposed in a manner that positions the selected key on the leftmost position of all chord generator octaves. All other scale tones will be placed upon the remaining white keys in their proper order. The selected scale will determine the seven scale tones and define whether each chord is built upon a major, minor, diminished, or augmented triad. The lower piano roll displays Roman numerals on each white piano key that define each chord. When the corresponding key is selected from your MIDI keyboard, the software key will light up and the instruments linked to the chord generator will play that chord. Beneath the lower piano roll are seven chord indicator displays that identify the specific chord associated with each white key. Holding down the black keys of your keyboard in conjunction with the white keys can change the characteristics of the chords associated with the white keys. This will be displayed with a purple indicator light on the black key. Auto Theory allows users to control every note within every chord. Beneath each white key on the lower piano roll are two rows of sliders which allow for adjustments to the accidentals and voicings of each individual note. If this looks overwhelming to you, don't worry. Our wide range of presets will organize this all for you. The Chord Tones mapping setting is best for beginners to music theory. This setting locks chord tones into fixed positions on the white keys. All notes found within the selected chord will be displayed in black. All non-chord tones will be displayed in gray. The Chord tone setting is a dynamic function that changes tone locations based upon the selected chord. This allows users to maintain a fixed finger position while improvising melodies that always blend with the chosen chord.
The Inversions button can be used for chord tones and dynamic scale mappings. Inversions are effective for keeping all tones within an octave when changing chords. When inversions are selected, the tone ordering will not change. This sometimes leads to keys further to the right of the melody lock playing tones lower than their neighboring keys to the left. The dynamic scale mapping is best for intermediate users. This setting adjusts the scale to the root note of the selected chord. All notes found within the selected chord will be displayed in black. All non-chord tones will be displayed in gray. The dynamic scale setting is a dynamic function that changes tone locations based upon the selected chord. This allows users to maintain a fixed finger position on chord tones while still maintaining the ability to easily mix in non-chord tones. The relative scale mapping setting is best for intermediate to advanced users. This setting locks all white keys into selected scale tones, while transposing the tonic note of the scale to the C position. All notes found within the selected chord will be displayed in black. All non-chord tones will be displayed in gray. The relative scale setting is a stable function that keeps scale tones on their identified key regardless of which chord has been selected. The absolute scale mapping setting is best suited for advanced users. This setting rounds all keys to the selected scale tones. All notes found within the selected chord will be displayed in black. All non-chord tones will be displayed in gray. The absolute scale setting is a stable function that keeps scale tones on their identified key regardless of which chord has been selected. The source setting dictates how chords are mapped in the melody lock functions of chord tones and dynamic scale. The relative scale and absolute scale settings will act independently of the source setting. In the match setting, tones in the melody lock will be reflective of the last chord played from the chord generator. This allows users to play a melody at the same time as they play a chord or chord progression. In the fixed setting, the melody lock will stay locked onto the tones found within one specified chord. This allows for usage of the melody lock and chord generator at different times playing from different chords. You can select a fixed chord in the value box above the first black key on the upper piano roll. In the alternate setting, the melody lock will alternate between tones found within two specified chords. This allows for usage of the melody lock and chord generator at different times playing from different chords. You can select the alternating chords in the value boxes above the first two black keys on the upper piano roll. These two black keys will serve as toggles to switch back and forth between selected chord tones. Due to the nature of CV routing, Auto Theory provides the added benefit of greatly reducing the amount of MIDI data in your sequencer. One MIDI note played into the chord generator could literally trigger up to 28 notes from connected Reason instruments. 
This enables users to focus their attention on automation, leading to more dynamic elements within their songs. Both the chord generator and melody lock functions possess up to four output channels for external control of all reason instruments. Use a submixer to route different instruments into one well-blended signal or to bring individual instruments in and out of the mix. Adjust the absolute octave of each instrument to spread stacked sounds over a wide frequency range. Adjust the absolute velocity level of each instrument to either emphasize or de-emphasize it. The Mute Chords button is useful when you want to use the chord generator as a reference for the melody lock, but you do not want it to generate any sound. Auto Theory also possesses three CV MIDI inputs for external control from devices such as pattern sequencers and arpeggiators. One input will control the chord generator, one input will control the melody lock, and one will be a dual input that controls both. Auto Theory provides patch support for many different presets that are relevant to many playing styles. Auto Theory presets relate to the selected scale and the chord slider configurations. They are organized both by scale type and by chord type. <laughs> 